Hey, this is Marvin with Everyday Marvin. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Also, make sure you go ahead and hit that little notification bell somewhere down there so that we can be notified of when I release new videos. My channel is all about doing reviews, reactions, and commentary to random things. Now, in today's video is going to be a special video because I'm going to be doing a reaction video to Taylor Swift's album 1989. Just kind of do like a retrospect or kind of a look back to everything before reputation <laughs> and so I'm gonna listen to the whole album I'm not gonna listen to the whole, whole album so that means I'm not gonna listen to maybe like a minute of each song and I'm gonna move along and let's get started first song is Welcome to New York <laughs> I'm a <little> fake clap <laughs> Actually, the first time I heard this song was actually at McDonald's. <laughs> That's a favorite. Right? I was like, I was like, I knew it was her, but I was like, this wasn't a single that I know of. <laughs> like, they played it at McDonald's. I heard it like on a regular basis every time I'm gonna be playing this song. And some Selena Gomez. Forevermore. <laughs> Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. I remember the first time I heard Blank Space, it was at a Dollar General, actually. <laughs> I think I heard, no, was there? Yeah, it might have been. No. I remember when Blank Space came out, it was a big deal because her sound set changed. And it was like, okay, like, I, I, okay, I can kind of give this like that little beat, kind of more urban feel. And I'm like, okay, okay, Taylor, I see what you're trying to do. Let's listen to Blank Space. Style. This song is apparently about Harry Styles. Or relate to believe me anyway. I feel like I'd be riding a motorcycle. <laughs> So the next song is going to be Out of the Woods, which is actually one of my favorite songs. And yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite songs. It just kind of makes you want to eat up and just kind of makes you want to go running. <laughs> All you have to do was stay. All you have to do was. Back and lay. Mm. 
easy. All you had to do was. 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 All you had to do was stay. Another catching number. So now we're on to the big massive hit, which pretty much helped kick off this album, which was Shake It Off. <laughs> it's like the song that everybody knows, and so let's listen to it now. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> Wish you would. Or I wish you would. Kind of reminds me of, um, I think you would stay. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it. <laughs> Wish you would. It's about to do this number. Trying to match the beat. <laughs> This is probably someone's favorite song out there. Probably nobody talks about this song. Like this song doesn't get enough love. This probably somebody just loves loves this song, <laughs> which is a good song. It, it's not really super super memorable because it's, cause especially after coming right after Shake It Off, <laughs> it's kind of hard to follow that song up. Uh oh, got bad blood. So I was just the album version and not the remix version. <laughs> With Kendrick Lamar. So I don't know the lyrics because they're different from the remix. <laughs> I she do like I thought she would. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was Bad Blood, which I'll be honest, the first thing I heard was the remix version because that's the, the one with the music video and I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then when I heard this one, this one also played on radio too for a radio station that didn't want the rap version of it. And I didn't like it at first, I'll be honest, because I was listening, I was like, wait a minute, so where's the rap? Don't tell me the rap. Then I came up. <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, this might be the album version. And it was. And if y'all I didn't really like the album version, only because I heard the remix first. But now that some time has progressed, I've gotten used to this version. I still like the other version better because it's it makes you want to get up more and the beats rearranged a little bit better, I felt, and a little stronger and it makes you really wanna get up and get it. Um but this one isn't bad, it's just that it just that remix just kinda like overshadows this one. Okay, so before we listen to this next song, Wildest Dreams, I have to say this is one of my favorite tracks on the album that I Freak out during this song, I just really, really get into it. It's my warning, so let's get started. Why the strings, baby? Staring at the sunset bay again And the just in your wildest dreams ah, ah. Turn around to Beyonce by the way <laughs> This dream ah, ah. That little part right there Those are in my room <laughs> You know your sound Nothing lasts forever Good now, 
infamous hell. But it does so well. Other than last kiss. Say you remember me Staying in a nice dress In the sunset, babe Red lips and rosy cheeks Say you see me again Even if you just in your wildest dreams I hope <laughs> In your wildest dreams I hope Alright, enough of that song. This wild a dream, we're gonna do the whole song. I'm about to do the whole song. <laughs> so this is how you get the girl. There's probably somebody's favorite song out there too. They're like, I love this song. <laughs> how you get the girl is not one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not a girl. <laughs> I'm not a girl, not yet a woman. <laughs> something like that, you get the reference if you know what that reference is from please put it down in the comments and you're going to get a thumbs up and a big old reply and so um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and move along to not the bashing song again <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people like it but this is not one of my favorites this love So that was this love and the way the her vocals are layered and stuff sounds really cool. I know places which I do like this. That was torches. I think she said the second version. <laughs> Be track us down and Places again. I know places. Clean. So we arrived now at Clean, which I believe is where the original album ends. And I do like this song. I like the kind of analogy to drinking versus getting over someone. I thought it was kind of cool, kind of creative. Was the very worst. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Got a thirst. Back and forth. Uh, uh. Keep falling down. Finally clean. And one of the bonus tracks, I believe, which is this Wonderland. Which I always use is making an analogy to Alice in Wonderland in comparison to a relationship that feels that way. Forever. A little bit of Rihanna's eh, eh in there. Our Lady Gaga was <laughs> kind of wild and boisterous. Oh, you are in love. Last on New Romantics. I want to thank you for watching this. My reaction. Make sure you like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Make sure you hit the little notification bell. Again, for Everyday Marvin to be notified when I put out new videos. Thank you for watching this. Let me know if I should do other Taylor Swift albums or any other artist album. I would love to hear back from you guys. Thank you for watching. And this is Marvin Everyday Marvin. Catch you later.